Hey there plumbers, home remodelers, and everyone else. In this short video, I will show you how to make a secure connection for PEX tubing for your water supply, and then the right way to disconnect PEX pipe from the fitting to be able to reuse the fitting, or to connect a different pipe to it. In this example, I am using the quarter of an inch PEX pipe, coupling fitting, appropriate size crimp rings, and all the necessary tools for this job. This is a crimping tool that squeezes the ring tight enough to hold the PEX tubing on the fitting. This is the tool that cuts copper crimp rings when you no longer need them. This is a tube cutter. These are regular needle nose pliers. Our 3 quarters PEX tube, coupling fitting and 2 copper rings. First, I will cut the tube in the middle and make a connection as if these are two different pipes. First we put copper rings on the tube. Then insert our fitting. To make sure the rings don't move around while you are putting your crimping tool on the ring, it's a good idea to pinch them with needle nose pliers first. It makes them hold on to the tube and stay in place. Now we can crimp. Let's do it again on the other side. All done. This is now a secure connection, as strong as can be. Now I will show you an easy way to free up this fitting from the pipe. I make a cut as close to the fitting inside as possible, but I try not to cut the fitting itself. As you can see I cut a little too far. I can cut again a little bit closer. This will help to get the crimp cutter tool deeper inside in the next step. Here comes the fun part. This tool was made by Apollo. I got it from the Home Depot, but you can get them online for even cheaper. I will put links to it in video description. As you can see here, it can cut copper crimp rings for half inch, three quarters, and one inch tubing. We put round side of the tool inside the fitting, and the sharp side of the tool outside of the fitting, ready to make a cut. When ready, we squeeze the tool and make a clean cut in the ring. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's not ready to come off yet. It's holding on there pretty tight. If you wanted to, you could use needle nose pliers and some effort to remove the ring, but I prefer to make another cut on the opposite side of the ring. This way it comes off by itself easily. Now all we have to do is take off the tube from the fitting. It seems simple, but after long time being squeezed to the fitting under immense pressure it's not going to come off easily, because inside the tube takes the shape of the fitting, unless we use the right tool. We use the same tool again and make many cuts in the pipe like this. These cut expand the pipe diameter and pipe becomes loose. More cuts, more loose it becomes, until it can come off easily. That's all there is to it. Now a new pipe can be connected to this fitting. To recap let's do it again on the other side. All you've got to do at this point is make sure you hit the like button and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I mean, you don't want to miss my new videos, right? Check out my other videos, I am sure you'll find something that interests you. If not, then leave a comment with a topic what you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel, I'll be your guide. Subscribe right now, it's gonna be alright. Hit that subscribe, it's time to connect. As a subscriber, you'd get my respect.